Hey CrossFitters, sometimes you just want ice cream, right? I'm Erin the Beast, founder of ErinTheBeast.com and creator of the Beast Mode Method, a custom-built program for hardcore CrossFitters who want to dominate at the box. Today, we are going to make a very healthy um, chocolate shake for you. Sometimes you just want some ice cream and you don't want to throw off all the hard work that you've been doing, get bloated, feel nasty, all that stuff. So this is something super easy and quick that you can do in your kitchen um, to satisfy that craving for chocolate, for ice cream, for something cold and creamy. Very simple. Um, so basically what you're going to need is you're going to need a blender of some kind. I recommend a Blendtec or a Vitamix blender because they're going to help things get super, super creamy. This is a blender that a lot of restaurants use uh, and that's how they get their, their sauces and their smoothies and things like that. Really full of flavor and really creamy and robust is, is by using one of these blenders. Now, the very first ingredient you're going to think is a little strange. Um, we are using a peeled zucchini or a peeled yellow squash. Basically the same thing as a zucchini, just is yellow instead of green. Um, what a zucchini is going to do, you're going to chop this up, is going to give it um, bulk. It's going to give your, your shake bulk. Now a lot of times you'll find ice cream and shake recipes that use a banana, but then everything tastes like banana and you have a lot of added um, starch and sugar and things like that, the zucchini gets some vegetables in with, with um, your, your sweet little snack here. Um, I'm going to be doing a series of videos on a ton of different stuff that you can do with zucchini. So we're going to be doing the chocolate shake, we're going to be doing noodles, chips, um, a hummus uh, slash dip kind of thing. Um, you can put it in literally anything because it doesn't taste like anything. So you can add it um, to literally any dish that you are making and it will either add just a little bit of bulk to it, it'll help it to bind together, it'll just give you some more um, veggies into your diet and it's a great way to hide veggies too if you're trying to incorporate more of them into your diet but you quite haven't changed your, um, your palate yet. So this is a great veggie for that because it doesn't taste like anything. So you're going to peel your zucchini, you're going to throw it, um, cut it up, throw it into your Vitamix, and then you're going to take a fourth of a cup of raw cacao and throw that in there. And cacao is raw chocolate, C-A-C-A-O, okay? So cacao is going to be, it's going to taste bitter, like baking um, cocoa or something like that, baking chocolate. We're going to sweeten it up with some dates. Now the reason that we're using raw cacao instead of like a baking cocoa or chocolate chips or something like that is because this is the real food. This is real chocolate as it has been intended by nature. And it is full of magnesium, it's full of iron, um, fiber, all of that good stuff. So a lot of times, ladies, when you're, you know, coming upon that time of the month, you're having some cravings for some chocolate, for ice cream, for other things that are sweet, a lot of times those are actually signals to your body, not that you need sugar and, and sweets and junk food and stuff like that, but your body is craving, just by its natural design, the different um, minerals and nutritional content that is in those um, those traditional foods. So in cacao, like I said, we have the magnesium, which is very, very important for hormonal balance, hormonal health, and um, most people are deficient in it, especially women. So you want to help get your hormones back on, on track, eat something with cacao in it. Um, it's going to have a lot of iron, which is also going to help you during that time of month, which in a lot of women, iron is, is low um, during your time of the month. So men, if you're if your um, lady is, you know, starting to tra crave some chocolate and um, getting a little, you know, PMSy or anything like that, um, maybe earn some brownie points and make this for her. So what I'm doing is I'm just throwing some dates in here. So these are just medjool dates, and I'm taking the pit out. You want to make sure that you take, oops, the pit out of of the date because it's 
it's hard and it's you don't want to blend that up. So I'm going to start with five dates. Eh, let's do six. Because this is what's going to give it its sweetness. Um, so you don't want to make it too sweet. So this is going to be one of those things that you're going to have to gauge yourself. I might use six dates. You might use four. You might use eight. It really depends. Everyone's a little bit different um, with their palate when it comes to sweet things. So we have our dates. If you get dates and they're really firm, um, just soak them in water for like 20 minutes or something like that and that will soften them right up and then it's easier to get the pit out and they blend up a lot more easy. Um, or eas easier. So then we're going to add in a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth of a cup of um, canned full fat coconut milk and you want to get the canned organic stuff um, very few ingredients it's just coconut milk um, water and gargum is all it is the stuff that comes in like the quart size and stuff like that that's super super processed this is still obviously processed because it's not you know chopped out of an actual coconut right here in your kitchen but it's less processed than that other stuff. It tastes a lot better, and um, your body will will react to it better than that other stuff. And then we're going to get some raw cashew butter. Now, this is where you're going to get that depth um, for, for your smoothie. And we're going to use about a fourth of a cup-ish of um, the cashew butter. So fat is going to give things depth in a recipe and that, that nice um, creamy texture that's very comforting. So we're going to throw that in there. Back to the coconut. Coconut is great for balancing out hormones too. Um, and it helps to kill off microorganisms in the body like bacteria, molds, parasites. Um, viruses, all that fun stuff. So we're going to throw that in there. And then we're going to add in about a cup of ice. Maybe a little bit more than that. And we're just going to put in a teeny tiny pinch of Himalayan salt. Um, salt hel helps to bring out the flavor in things. You'll notice even with baking recipes a lot of times, you know, cookies and cakes and stuff like that, that there'll be a little bit of salt in there and that's because it helps to bring out the flavors. So we're just doing a little tiny pinch of that. And then we're going to blend it all up. You might need, like if you have a Vitamix, you might need like your probe stick or if you have your blend tech and you've ordered one of those. Um, to help blend it up. So. chocolate to it. Hmm. I might have even put a little, a little too much chocolate in it. If you like things super, super chocolatey, I'd put in the fourth of a cup. Um, let's add a couple more dates in here. So I think it needs to be a little bit sweeter. Let's do three more dates. So now we've taken our date total, total up to eight from our original five. Cover on. We're going to blend it back. 
back up again. zucchini is too, but about two-ish, two and a half-ish cups of, of chocolate shake. There we go. That's awesome. So now the, the bitterness of the chocolate isn't even coming through. Now that we have that sweetness in there. So, that is our chocolate shake. We'll throw it in a, a glass or a mason jar. I put everything in mason jars. And voila there you have it so if you want your your shake to be a little bit thicker a little bit um, more creamy you can add even more zucchini into it this one is is still um, really creamy and, and somewhat thick but if you wanted a super thick shake I would just add in a little bit more zucchini maybe half a zucchini to a full zucchini so um, now what I need you to do is go to my website at AaronTheBeast.com and download your free gift, The Beast Mode Method Fundamentals, which is a three-part video series that will help you to bring out your inner beast at the box. Talk to you later. Bye.